What are we doing, everyone? Wax on. Wax off. Wax on. Welcome to the dojo. Our next guest is a real-life karate kid. Sophie Broom kicking childhood leukemia to the curb after she was diagnosed after just six years of age. Now her story is inspiring others to take part in Red Kite's Sun Up Challenge this September to help raise funds for sick kids and their families. And we're very happy to say that Sophie joins us live now Yay. from Valentine in New South Wales with her mum Christine and brother Andy. Good morning. Nice to see you all. Good morning. Hey, so Sophie, we reckon you are so incredibly brave. Can you tell us a little bit about your journey with cancer and how you got through it? At the start, it was very scary. I lost all my hair. Aww. I could barely walk. But my friends and family helped me stay positive and charities like Red Kite were very supportive. Wow, um, that is beautifully said. Um, you took up karate with your mum two and a half years ago. Now the whole family's involved. Why do you love it so much? When I do it, I feel strong and powerful. And I love competing. And I love the challenge of the gradings. And everybody at Pollitt's Martial Arts so kind and encouraging. Wow. And I love it so much. Oh, you are an extraordinary human being, Sophie. And Mum, Christine, I mean, how has it been for you nursing Sophie through what I imagine were some pretty dark, dark times to seeing her win silver at the national championships? It's a feeling that's really hard to describe, Ali. From watching your child fighting for their life in hospital, unable to move, hooked up to machines, to then seeing her not only just competing but getting on the podium. I was a mess. So I had tears and I was jumping for joy. I think I was probably as entertaining as the competitors. <laughs> it was an amazing feeling. She's really good, isn't she? <laughs> she is. Um, and you're taking part in the Red Kite Sun Up Challenge with Sophie. Tell us about that. The Sun Up Challenge is about getting out and exercising, doing some form of exercise every morning in September to help raise funds for families like ours who face childhood cancer. And I can't tell you how important Red Kite is because mm. a diagnosis of cancer for a child mm. is like... How, going through uh, being thrust into a marathon that you didn't expect and you yeah. certainly didn't awesome. train for and Red Kite is like your support crew to get you through that to remind you that you can do this beautifully said they are just such a vital service look before we get the kids to do some stuff for us um Sophie I'm gonna whisper so your brother doesn't hear okay can you hear me still yeah can yes. you hear okay can you just give him a big kick to the shins without him knowing? Don't do that. Yes, you can do that. No, don't. No, don't. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> she thought about it for just a little second. <laughs> no, no, why don't you demonstrate for us? Because we hear the tornado kick is one yeah. of your favourite moves. Can you all three demonstrate how you do all that? Because we love this. It's so lovely. Yeah. Go off and demonstrate. Okay. Talk us through it, Christine. Okay, well, Andy's going to um, put up a pad so Sophie's going to demonstrate a turning kick and then going into a tornado kick for you. Okay, this is the big tornado kick. Oh, look how high that is. Oh, wow. oh yeah. <laughs> Keep going, Keep guys. Going. We love you. Keep doing it. Keep kicking away. And um, look, that's a terrific story, isn't it? We told you you'd love it. We'll be back with more right after this. Stay with us. Now, what would it take to break? I believe.